today Archbishop of Church of Uganda, His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Stephen Samuel Kazimba Mugaru, accompanied by Managing Director Church of Uganda Family TV, paid a courtesy visit to National Social Security Fund, NSSF, and had different engagements. To, to save, to save. For, on behalf of their employers. The public sector has their own pension fund, yes. uh, whether armed forces, police, prisons, and of course the local government, they have their own. That one is based on a formula and a salary. When you work for a number of years, you get to get a certain amount. Here is actually based on what you have saved and what we invested and given it back to you. In his remarks, Dr. Kazimba raised the need for the partnership of NSSF, Church of Uganda, and Church of Uganda Family TV to ensure enrichment of one another. So I think uh, I, I, I need to invite you to speak to our bishops and uh, have some time to speak to us. And uh, this is very important also to continue the partnership as a church, because we are serving the church. Uh, Furthermore, he underscored the need to raise awareness among the clergy and individuals without fixed salaries, finding solutions for them to obtain retirement benefits through a partnership with the NSSF. So if we are enlightened about all these things, what are the services, how can we benefit? How can the people benefit? Like uh, Mr. Mbo is saying, they hear from, from the pulpit. Uh, hey, okay, I think that's very important. But uh, also some of our clergy and maybe uh, they are not benefiting from this. How can we, how can people who are not getting salary but stipends benefit also? What are other advice that we may need to get? Dr. Amos Mwesiji, the managing director of Church of Uganda Family TV, emphasized the potential benefits of a partnership with the NSSF, Church of Uganda, and Church of Uganda Family TV. We also have other programs that we are running as NSSF, mm -hmm. that whether promotional programs or marketing programs, whatever it is, we are available mm -hmm. as a platform, much as our interest is to run uh, spiritual nourishment for mm -hmm. parishioners, and, mm -hmm. but also want to have that site of media evangelism mm -hmm. and media evangelism has an element of sustainability. Yeah. He highlighted that such a collaboration could lead to mutual enrichment and great achievements when working together. He said that Church of Uganda Family TV has all it takes for the collaboration with the NSSF. Mm -hmm. So if we can work together, support each other mm -hmm. and lay out a strategy that can be long term mm -hmm. in terms of partnership, we think you are the right people to Okay. work with in that regard. Okay. Otherwise beyond the Sunday programs that mm -hmm. we run, which are church programs, mm -hmm. Monday to Saturday Sorry. we run other programs okay. on education, on health, mm -hmm. on finances, mm -hmm. on leadership, on parenting okay. throughout the week. In response, NSSF Managing Director Patrick Ayota assured Archbishop for a serious partnership as soon as possible for both Church of Uganda and Church of Uganda Family TV. The idea of a partnership, how we can work together, we'll, we'll revisit that and then talk about it from a technical perspective, what yes. we need to do. Uh, Your Grace, we actually welcome the opportunity to come and share with the, uh, the Bishop and the leadership of the Church. Uh, and even in some areas have the societal interventions mm -hmm. that the church may be working on and we can see where we plug in and that's what we do. Uh, the idea of promoting uh, the, sta the station, the pl platform that you have, yes. let's look at how then we do that so that we can actually... The NSSF Uganda is a mighty trillion fund mandated by the government through the NSSF Act as amended to provide social security services to all eligible employees in Uganda. The fund is a contributor scheme and is funded by the contributions from employees and employers of 5% and 10% respectively of the employee's gross monthly wage. The fund is regulated by the Uganda Retirement Benefits Regulatory Authority, while the Minister of Gender, Labor and Social Development and the Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development are responsible for police oversight. The fund manages assets worth over $18.5 trillion invested in fixed income, equities and real estate assets with the East African region. Julius Momza, Church of Uganda Family TV, News at 8.